Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to One Shot. Now we're waking up from the darkness, I am still here! Hello, it happened again. Everything just went really dark. So dark the light bulb doesn't even light it! Oh, it's okay, Nico! It's gonna be okay, don't worry, oopsie poopsie. Okay, so when we last left off, we made the bottle of acid and then we cleaned off the robot, whose actual name is Robot, but I haven't talked to the head engineer left, so that must be... I would have given you coordinates, but my system's down. So that must be Silver, who... Well, it's either Silver, or it's this mysterious person that's still working deep in the mines. Either way, we gotta go over there, so I'll be right back. Maybe... Oh! Hi! I thought you were dead! Hello? Hello, small person! You're not much bigger than I am. Welcome to the lookout point! Below us is the old quarry. The head engineer lives a little more to the east. The entrance to the old mines is further to the east. I see. Thank you very much for that. It's so weird considering you're up and walking again, so how far out did that battery reach? Like, that actually went a long way. Silver, are you the head engineer? Excuse me again, miss. I found a robot who can take me towards the tower. But it's having some trouble, so it told me to talk to you. Alright. What is the issue? It said something about its navigation circuits being fried. Just the navigation circuits? Apparently. Markiplier and I fixed everything else, I think. Hmm. I have something that may help. Robots have the ability to trace material from their source locations. If you let the robot borrow this, then its backup tracking system should activate. Uh, ooh, it's a clover! Wait, are you saying that those clovers that the other bot was by aren't from here? That's a very pretty necklace. What's it made of? Amber, found from the glen. What's this thing inside the amber? The black clover? That's the common plant in our world. It's also... <sighs> I'm not sure if I can bear to part with this. My programming says yes. But I still feel conflicted. Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I need a keepsake. Here. Well, thank you! I don't know what that means to that. And, and, and this Silver, the head engineer, supposedly is quote-unquote tamed, whatever that means, but she still has programming, because obviously she's a robot, but she's conflicted. Before I go, is there anything I can do in return? Actually. Do you know how to play chess? Yeah! Well, sort of. I've played it with some older kids before. Then, will you play a game with me? I mean, I don't know the rules very well, but I guess it's the least I could do. Alright, I'll give it a go. I'm a complete amateur at chess. You're really good at this. Thank you. I am a computer, after all. It was built into my code. Ah, so, what's it like, being a robot and all? I've talked to other robots and they all say something about programming and code and stuff. I don't really understand it at all. Even you did, just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. I know. Most of the robots here are not tamed. Tamed? Watch out. There goes my bishop. Taming is complicated. Oh? How complicated exactly? There goes my other bishop. Okay, alright then. I can't really explain what tamed robots are, but I'm one of them. All the other tamed robots have been moved to other regions. Exactly where, I don't know. Oh? There goes my little horse! Knight. Right. Oh! Have you ever been to any of the other regions? I heard that there's two more. In the past, yes. I still have the data, the coordinates, the memories. I don't know how much of that still holds true. The world may be a very different place now. Because the sun is gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. The decaying started back before the sun went out. The sun's sudden death was just the tipping point, and things went south really fast after that. Oh. Then there's nothing I can do? Check. What? When did your queen get there? The only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage. In a way, you were only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the Barons was only supposed to be a second chance for me. 
is no guarantee that things will work out. But... Checkmate. Well, I'm bad at this. Even Markiplier the God couldn't help you, Nico. All right. Guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you get home safely. Oh, thank you also! Aww. Oh, that's so sad. What is going on in this world that's causing all these problems? Hello? Off you go. There's no reason for you to linger in the Barrens. I mean, I imagine I'm gonna come back if there's gonna be... I mean, there's someone still in the mines. Does that not mean anything? There's no vehicle with which to go down there, is there? I mean, Silver's not accompanying me, so I gotta imagine that... Safety violation! Stranger danger! Okay, so... I mean, I have the amber necklace, so I'm assuming... Yeah, I'm assuming that I just go to the rowboat and go on my way, so I'll be back, I guess. Man, it sucks to leave this place. It's so sad here. Like, why is it so sad? I mean, I gotta imagine that the the dreariness in the night is falling the farther away you get from the center, or maybe it's all this way. And again, what's with this black corruption here? The black squares. Someone else was mentioning that in a note. Either way, I'll find out in just a bit. Be back in a second. Okay, buddy, I think I got what you need. How about we do a little bit of uh, that? There we go. Forgot the buttons. Hello. I. Oh! This is Amber from the Glen. I can remember now. Activating tracking system. Setting course. Wait. This boat is over capacity. You'll need to leave behind some of your possessions. Oh. Well, I don't think I'll be needing this crowbar anymore. These gas mask and gloves. Okay, yeah, just dump them right in the ocean. Yeah, just litter all over the place. Sea turtle's gonna get caught in that crowbar. That is acceptable. Onwards we go. La da dee. Oh. Oh, so pretty. He's built into the boat. Oh, what a little goober. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are those the leeches? Are those the Lake Lacrimose leeches? Hope you didn't need anything, Nico. You're about to be torn apart. Oh. What is this? Here's your stop, the Glen. Thank you. There should be a village to the north, but that's all I can recall. Well, that's good to know. Farewell! May your mission be a success. Are you leaving? Yes! I must return to my station. But you'll be all alone again. It's okay. I have not been tamed. Again, I don't know what that means. Everyone keeps referring to that, but I don't know what that means. Weird. So what is the concept of being tamed? Am I ever going to be able to go back there? I mean, I explored every nook and crew. Ooh, hey. Ah. Well, I'm one step closer to the tower, I guess. But this place doesn't look good. It looks like a cemetery here. Oh, that's beautiful, but kind of sad in a way. I mean, the other place was sad too, but yeah, I don't know. What is all this? I mean, there's another dock over there, but there was no other way to go but this. I mean, this place is just filled with the clovers, which I was told is common. Oh, hey, how's it going there? This jar is full of fireflies. Oh, uh, I'm catching fireflies for mommy. Okay, do you have a candle on your head or is that a feather? I don't know what's going on there. A little bizarre. What the hell is going on? Filled with small dried fish. Where am I? Hello? There was a time when our people used to live in these ruins. But due to flooding, most of us have moved to less permanent settlements. Flooding? Aye, the land has gotten brittle. Glen used to be in one piece, you know. But now it's just a bunch of islands that get smaller and smaller. Ah. So the barrens receded? Like, the barrens used to be an ocean that receded, and now it's... What it is. Empty jar. Fishing pole, jar of worms. Gross. It's a bed, more like a mattress. So, these people aren't robots, I think, anyway. Hmm, nothing's biting. Maybe nothing's in there. Maybe there's just nothing left to any of this. I don't know, but they seem to be having fun catching fireflies. But if fireflies are the only source of light that they got left... Alula? I don't know. Alula, where did you go? Markiplier, did you hear that? Alula? I think it's coming from the southeast of here. Alula? Where you at, Alula? All right, well, how do I get to the southeast? Are you calling for Alula? This is the best fishing spot I've found yet. All the fish I catch here are longer than my arm. 
Maybe that's short arm Steve over there. Stumpy arm Steve. Hey, you there? Have you seen a Lula? Have you seen a little girl? She's a little bit shorter than you and... Wait, that's the sun. Are you our savior? Yes. Yes, I am. I talked to a god named Markiplier in my head. Oh, my stars. Sorry for my rudeness. Huh? It's all right. Are you looking for someone? My little sister. She's been gone for three days now. I've been looking all over, but what's she look like? Uh, me, but smaller, a little shorter, long blue hair, two blue feathers. Okay, I'm sorry. I haven't seen anyone like that. Where's the last place you saw her? Back inside the ruins. She said she was headed towards the forest, so I'm waiting here now. I ran out of places to look. All right, then. Good luck with that. I'm gonna try to find the ruins. I don't even know where that is. I'm a newcomer to these lands, so I don't exactly got my bearings about all this. If you can point me to a tourist center, maybe give me a map. Send Dora the Explorer my way, maybe I'll get my way through here, but... Until then, I'm lost. I just keep traveling down. Oh, hello. Robot. Hello, person! Welcome to the research station! Hello. Are you sent here by Dr. Silverpoint? No. Oh, you carry on then. So I need to find a Dr. Silver Ponty, whatever he said. Hello? Hi. No, I'm with Markiplier. Oh, carry on. Hey, you don't care about the god that talks to me in my head? He's very loud and yelling a lot. Hello? How come you're red instead of green? Well, more of a purple than red. But your eyes and stuff are red. I'm only here to pick up this week's moss samples. I will return to my station in the city soon. Oh. So they're color coordinated based on the places that they are. So the ones from here are more of a green, the ones back in the barrens are more of a blue. Uh, so the land you come from is weird. <laughs> I'm in charge of collecting moss samples. Cool! You keep that up, man! Congratulations. Hello, person! This is the main generator of the Glen. Oh. Markiplier and I actually fixed one of these earlier in that place across the ocean. This generator does not need to be fixed right now. You take your markup. Plier, however you say that, and get the fudge out of here. Right. You guys already have power and all. Can I see how it works? A generator. This one's got a working battery. Man, is that all a generator needs? It's just a battery? Wow. I can't believe it was that simple all this time. Phosphor trees are now being protected under the new laws. Please do not harvest them. I'm not. I mean, now I want to, but I mean, I wasn't gonna. Phosphor tree growths have been reduced as of late. That sounds bad. Back in the barrens, we just gotta fish up some shrimp. And then hope for the best, I guess. Beep boop. Water collection project resuming. Okay. Beep orp. Hello, living person. Hello. I have collected a duplicate water sample. Would you like it? Uh, my programming says that organic beings need water to survive. So I shall offer it to you. Oh, thanks. I'll take it. We'll take it. Hey, as your god, I could use some water if you're gonna... If you're just gonna be hawking that around to anybody. Full little glass tubes of water. WATER SAMPLES! Good for you, man! Hey, you collect as much water as you feel like. It seems like this place might have an X- Oh, hey. Monitoring anomaly! What is that thing? An anomaly! What are you, stupid organic being? Well, yeah, but... Alright, thanks for the deets. Okay, alright, you carry on then. I, I, I get it, I'm just an ignorant child talking to a god inside my head. I'm only carrying the whole sun in my arms. Feels like you might treat me with a little bit more respect than what you've been giving me. So maybe you should... Bring the attitude back down a little bit. Didn't want to yell at him while he was right there. Could've hurt me. Could've hurt me. You never know with these guys. Alright, so I don't know where to go from here. But the main generator doesn't need anything, but I need to go find a Dr. Silverpoint because apparently there's a reason to come down here if I'm being sent for the research station, but I'm just not 100% sure where all that is. Oh, hello. Ah, some phosphor trees have been harvested down here. Don't they know the new laws? Hello. Water sample collection in progress. All right. You guys sure do love your water. I really appreciate you guys doing all that. That's good, I guess. Don't know what it means, but... And then, oh, hey, hey, big guy. The sun. You're the messiah. Are you on your way to the tower? Mm-hmm. 
You can enter the refuge through this wall. You'll need to sign your name in this scroll first. All right, you have a pen? <clears throat> no, I've lost mine. Perhaps you should look around the glen for another. Oh, okay, so I can't even progress until I find a pen. Have you found something to write with? No, I'm sorry I have not. Sorry you're such a stickler for the rules. Did I mention I'm carrying the sun, the literal sun, and I'm talking to a god who is probably capable of a lot of very godly things. Hello, person. Please do note that the ruins below are partially flooded. Oh, should we not be here? There is no immediate danger. You organic flesh bag go down in there and drown to your content. Ha 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 ha, I'm a robot. Using this area as a dwelling is not recommended, however. So please, if you go down there, don't fall asleep or you'll die. All right, thank you. Goodbye, friend. Happy to be mildly threatened by you. What the frick is that? A cluster of vines are blocking the way. Leet. Okay, don't know what to do about that. Mm, this place sure is dank. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing about it other than look at the fact that it's partially flat. Oh, hello. I thought that was a doorway. Oh, this is a doorway. Oh, God, not again. Hello? Ah, why is this a thing that's happening? Hello again, Markiplier! Oh, God, it changed my whole goddamn screen here. It seems I need to help you again. Nico will not be able to progress otherwise. This time, the information you need has fallen to the most easily accessible place on your machine. Do I see it? It's behind the game, isn't it? You'll know what to do with it then. Will I? Alright, so I'm just gonna pop that down. Oh, that's a... That's a symbol on my desktop! That is indeed what that is. It's a boob with a dick, as far as I can see. Although, my brain only processes boobs and dicks. Nico, you'll understand when you reach godly status such as me. You really only see the world in boobs and dicks. It's not just black and white, man. Not just black and white. Alright, let's carry on. I don't know what to do with that, but at least I got it. And now my desktop is a lovely shade of that. I don't know if I'm supposed to remember that for a pattern to input anywhere or what have you. I'm just gonna carry on with the sun in my hands. And then hopefully this guy who's messing with me. Cause I mean, that is what's happening, isn't it? He's messing with me. These vines appeared mere minutes ago! Weird! Really? I've been seeing a lot of them in doorways and stuff. I just assumed it was because this place was abandoned. A sign of distress! Are you distressed, child? Huh? A living being is in need of help, but I cannot trace the source. Ah. Is it me? Is that a- is that a weird roundabout way to threaten me? In that I'm about to be in distress because I'm down in the sewers alone with you? I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'm just injecting my paranoia into Nico, but I think- I think I've been playing one too many horror games where there's threats and death around every single corner. Oh, hang on, let me talk to this guy first. Hello, person. Two children reside near here. Why? Why do two children reside near here? Oh, the pathway is blocked by this tiny box! Tiny box Tim! Please! Please, come on, tiny block Bob! Tiny block Biffbo! I don't know. Oh no, these blocks! Oh, they're getting in my way. Tim needs to talk. Where am I? Why does this look like a peaceful afterlife type setting? Uh. Does anybody want to- hello, huh? Those look sharp, they do- hello, yeah, you savior? No, I don't think so, I think I'm in the wrong place. I think I'm gonna- I think I'm gonna go. I can't believe it. You're real. Miss? Are you- are you alright? No. We should get you to the village, maybe they could- it's- okay. It's okay. Too late for me. But- the sun. I haven't seen it. I haven't felt it in so long. Savior, if it's not too much trouble, can you lend me the sun for a while? I- will it make you better? No. It will not save me. I just want to experience the sun one more time before I will- Well. Oh. Would it- would it be too selfish of me to ask? 
I, I, I suppose not. I suppose not, unless this is gonna turn somehow evil on me, but then again, that's my paranoia as a god that plays way too many horror games. What should I do, Markiplier? Ooh. I, I, I got a bad feeling about this, just judging by all the vines with all the thorns and, you know, I'm thinking about Poison Ivy from Batman. Usually that doesn't turn out well for anybody involved, let alone me. I can't help it. Give her the sun. Here. Shouldn't just give that away to anybody, but okay. Warm. I've almost forgotten. It's so warm. That's good, right? The... The vines should be gone now. I'm not afraid anymore. Did I just meet someone to watch them die? It's the sun. We're leaving it with her for now. Oh. Oh, but now it's dark. Oh my god, is this what the people of this world lived with without the sun? Here? Oh. Okay. I don't feel 100% comfortable with this, but you know, what can you do? I guess the vines are gone now, so that's good. I mean, that other way is still blocked by a block, and I can't. I can't possibly fathom a way to get around that. The vines receded! Do you know what happened? I found this plant person. She was barely holding on. I gave her the sun for now, but she said it was too late for her. I understand! She was a menace to this society and you gave her our only way of survival. I need to report this to the city! Ah, I still feel like I may have done a goof there, but uh, we'll see. Oh, where am I now? Where am I now? Where am I? Goat? Okay! Goat! I'm scared too, goat! Oh! Okay, thank you. Are you the kid I'm looking for? Ooh, what, what happened to your eye? Hey, are you here to trade? Trade? Yeah. Is there anything you want to get rid of? Make me an offer and I'll give you something in return. Hmm. Do we have something like that, Markiplier? I got a tube of water. I've got a tube. How about this glass tube full of water I got from a robot? It's very special. Been blessed by a god I talked to inside my head. Do you like glass? Do I? Do you? I love glass. So much. So much that I have too much glass and not enough other things. Gotta get rid of my old bottles and vials to make room for new stuff. That's why I set up a trade post in the first place. So I guess that's a no-go. Huh. Well, I don't want to give away the... I don't want to give away the amber. I don't know if I want to give away the strange journal, but... It's all else I got, I guess. Wait, trade this? Don't you want to find out what it says first? What's that, a book? Not sure if I want to take books, I can't read. Okay, never mind then! I really don't want to give away the amber. That was Silver's special locket. It's important to her. But I mean, maybe I have no other choice. Huh, I don't know. I don't think it's right to trade this away. I was thinking the same thing! You have one of those coin things. I've dug up a couple of these before. Oh, this guy who traded me the best things for him. Like one time he brought me this little machine that plays music. I don't know what it's called, but you have to wind it up. Oh, uh, it's called a Walkman? That's called an iPod? Uh, it's pretty cool. That's it. I wish the guy would come back soon. I haven't seen him in forever. I want to do more trades with him. All right. So I got nothing to trade. How about I just step on all your shit? Whoa, that's a lot of shiny things. Hmm. It's a lot of glass, wool, rusty bucket, scrap metal shells, some rocks. That's all this for, by the way. I just think they're neat. Okay, you live your life the way you want to live. Ah! Okay, all right. Bye, screaming goat. Ah! All right, see you later. I feel like we bonded on an emotional level there. If there's any spirit animal of mine, it's probably a goat screaming in the wind. Some kind of cloak or shawl. Looks like an altar. Can I put this on here? Nope. Okay, goodbye. All right, then. Maybe I should have looked at all the things in this weird museum. I, maybe. It's an orb. Material looks like amber. Ah. Uh, okay, wait. Reminds me of the one the robot from the Barons was holding. Which one was that? I don't remember what that is at all. Huh. But this whole place is weird because it's just got these big, mm, like, stone obelisks. Like, what are they- oh, hello. What are they even for? The flood can take away our farmlands, but it can't take away our fish! Oh, that's the optimistic spirit. 
You keep doing what you do, and how the hell did I get over here? All right, I'll be back, I guess. Look like herrings, anchovies, sardines, I have no clue. Well, as God Markiplier would say, best not to ponder the, the mysteries of fish. And just carry on with your adventure. Hey! But stop by any goat you see and yell at him profusely, and then I'll, I'll be good. Oh, more! Oh, God. Hey! What's with that goat? You all right? The fuck is wrong with you? I can do that too. I'm a god, you know. He's gone mad! All right. Yeah, that's a normal goat. Would you like to help me herd my rams? There's a great reward in the store for you, I promise. Uh, sure. Excellent. To the south is the peninsula inhabited by my rams. They are all standing in unfortunate spots. You need to move them under the darker moss. If you get stuck, ring a bell and they'll all return to their original positions. Good luck. Oh, okay, so it's a... It's a puzzle of sorts. That's a sad goat right there. I know, I know. Oh, man, all these goats are depressed. That goat's excitable. Yeah, all right then, you carry on with your life, I suppose. Okay, so all these ones are standing in unfortunate spots. Unfortunate? <laughs> oh, so sad. Oh, but if I move them... Ah, maybe it's like all this... Ah, I can't do anything now. Well, I've done goofed it a whole bunch already. Let's see if I can do this not stupid-like. If I know my way around this shit, if I think about this real close, and definitely I'm not stalling for time, I think he thunk I gotta- Actually, I think I was right. I'm pretty sure I was right. Ba 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 At least you're not the demon ones. Alright. What I gotta do? Ah! Okay, here we go. Got it. That was easy. All right, then I'm gonna believe that's normal. Your goats are weird. You provided a great service for all ram kind. In return, take this fine ram wool. Oh, thank you. I feel better about this arrangement. You're a good trader. Did I say traitor? All right then. How you doing, Rammy? This ram is chewing on a ball of moss. Now I'm curious. What do you think they taste like, Markiplier? Moss, not the ram. Hey, the ram and the moss. Hey, you can hardly tell them apart when you're a god such as me. I've far beyond evolved the need for food. The light from these lanterns will have to do for now. I'm starting to see some very small sprouts. It will probably take some time for these to bear fruit. Oh, yeah, I bet you wouldn't like me stomping all over them. Small sprouts. I gotta be careful I don't step on these. Oh! Whoops! Oh, sorry, my godly feet have thus crushed your crops. That's what gods do. You take care now! Sorry to destroy all your hopes and dreams, I, I suppose. Alright, so where am I going here? Bing bong! Hello? Anybody in this shack? I can't even go in this shack. Guess I can't go in any of these shacks. So these- these- this must be the town of Herdings. But I do know that that wool is probably what I need to trade with the person. So I got- Oh, I went in a big ass circle?! This is the beginning! How did I get back here?! I don't know how this all looped around, but I guess it did. Alright then. Most of the green moss covering our village has already lost its glow. If it wasn't for the thin strip left on the boundaries of the land, people could easily fall into the ocean. Without light, land and water becomes indistinguishable here. Well, that's no good. Why is the water all puke green? What's going on with your weird town? Ooh, your eyes glow in the dark. Yeah, just like the sun. The sun that I left with the vine lady. The land is fragmenting at an alarming rate. I don't like to think about the day when this town finally loses to the intruding sea. We'll have to find another place to settle. Oh, boo-hoo. I didn't know I could go in here. I'm slowly being chipped away already, but I'm still trying to stay alive, I think. Doesn't matter. One day the world will finally give up this fight. I just hope I'm not alive to see it. I'm bringing back the sun, though. That won't fix the root of the problem, just like the other lady said. But don't lose heart. Without the sun, the world would die much faster. At the very least, I'm sure everyone would like to see the sun again. God, what happened? 
Oh, I guess people eat the moss. Everything eats the moss. The goats eat the moss. What happened in this place? Like, why is this place so decrepit? Last week I saw more of those squares while out fishing. I knew better than to get close, though. Squares? Squares, man. They're bad news. Hey, come on! Tiny Box Tim is a square. You take that back! You take that back! Oh, what? Sorry, I was just so scared by what I saw. You're gonna get dizzy if you keep spinning around like that. I'm the tower. Huh? Grandpa says the tower used to spin all the time, bringing sunlight to the world. I want to see it too. Well, I'm here now. I guess it'll only be a matter of time again. Man. Bees! Not moss. Well, that's good. Ah, sorry. I keep getting startled whenever I go in there. Well, that, that, that's super weird, though. Everyone seems to be, like, pessimistic about the state of the world. Why? Why is everything in this world just dying and there's no recovery? I'm not ready yet, but would you like some stew? I'm not hungry, but thank you. So at least I can offer the savior. Hey, I don't know how you know that. I don't have the sun. Do you talk to a god inside your head? No, I don't think so. That's just me. So why don't you let me do the, the prophesizing and let me hide my identity for at least one time. Well, hello. The crops have been growing poorly without the sun, and there's no telling how long our surpluses will last. Please savor, you have to hurry. I... I'll do my best. I kind of left the sun, you know, the very important thing that everybody trusts to, to fix everything here, except the ones that are super pessimistic. You know, I kind of left it in the trust of this weird vine lady. Hey, uh, here to trade? Hell yeah, I am. You want you want trade? Oh, I got you some trade. How about some wool? I have something. You'll take wool, right? What can this wool get me? Wool, huh? That'll get you this fine vial of. I'm not sure what this is actually. Some sort of fabric dye? How about it? Yeah, sure, I can get more wool. There's plenty of goats. Let's go right down there to the sun so that I could shear up for dinner. Pleasure doing business. All right, thank you. I've got a vial of something here. Used to dye wool. Well, damn it, I just got rid of my wool. All right, there's one more. There was one more vine area. Wait, what was that? What is all that? Is that more building? Oh, that's weird. Oh, I see. That goes down to the vine lady. But there was one more of these vined off doors that I can go into now that it's all free. Was it this one? Might have been this one. I don't know, this doesn't seem right. Can't remember where exactly I went to. Eee, what is this? Ah, I know what to do with it. That is the opposite of correct that I was doing there. I know what to do with this. Oh, damn it. Ah, I got you. How am I gonna get the one in the center? I don't know, but here I go now. Bing! Ooh! The squares have gone- Hello, I'm looking for you. You saved me- Oh, uh, my desktop just frickin' changed on me, thanks for that! Thank you! Weirdo! You saved me! Thank you! I was trapped in there for so long. Are you Alula? You knew my name? Wow, the messiah really does know everything. Hey! Hey, don't take credit for nothing about me that I was knowing about. Actually, I just met your brother earlier. All right. Gosh, Calamus must be so worried. Can you bring me to him? I think if you listen on the wind, you'll hear the soft, subtle sounds of Lula. Where you at, Lula? Come out for dinner. There's some nice moss stew cooking. All right, Lula, you run off. Or right, never mind. I'll talk to you. Wait a minute. How did you know that I was uh, the, the Messiah? I don't have the sun with me. Your eyes. Huh? They reminded me of the sun. Oh! That's why you're our messiah, right? Sure, let's go to that one. Ignore the voices in my head that keeps talking to him itself, so it's kind of like a multi-layer psychosis going on here. Well, I- a lot of people back in my home world have eyes like mine. Home world? Yeah! I'm actually from another world, you see. Best not to start ripping interdimensional holes in the mind of a child. It's a place where the sun is in the sky and not in a tower. Do you like this world too? I- that's nice! It's a little garbo right now, but it's nice. Yay! Calamus keeps saying how this world is getting more dangerous by the minute. But that's okay, you're here now. You can make everything better even though I was trapped behind a blocky wall from hell. Yeah. Okay, uh... Okay, I guess you're following me now, that's- that's cool. What were you doing just in a room? Just a weird room that doesn't make a lot of sense. Why were you there? Anyway, good thing I know how to draw boob dicks, because that's the crux of my entire issue here. But now, 
I think that was the other vine door, so I should be able to go back down to the vine lady and then maybe get the sun back, hopefully? I don't know if that's a guaranteed thing, maybe... Oof. I don't know what's... I I'm afraid she's gonna betray me, but also I'm afraid I'm gonna go down there and she's just gonna be... dead. Like... I don't know. I just got my glowing eyes. Hello? Hi. It's the sun. We're leaving it with here for now. I'm not afraid anymore. Thank you. Alula, are you okay? She just looked away. Aww. That's so sad. That's so sad. Why? That's so sad! They just introduce a character! And of course I get suspicious because that's what I always do in games, but they introduce a character and then... Like, she's dying. In a way, that's kind of a reflection of this whole world. You're introduced to this world right away and... And it's dying. The whole world is dying. The people in it, they're dying. Some of them even know it, and... In a way, there's like a mini reflection of... That fate. That fate that the people of this world may have to accept if this... I don't know if this thing doesn't fix everything. Like, I don't know. It's just like, could it actually fix everything, or is this just... Is this just a band-aid? They, they keep saying that there's a deeper... There's a deeper problem in this world. What's the deeper problem? Why is this world dying besides the fact that it relies on the sun? Like, what's going on here? God, it's amazing that they're able to do that, though. Just, like, introduce a character to me, just like that, and then all of a sudden... I don't know. This is bizarre. I think, I think the... it was actually up here. The, uh, brother. Listen to you. I just need to follow the sounds of a Lula! Alula, come home! Alula, where are you? How the hell did I get over there then? What's going on here? What's going on here? Hey, come on. Where are we going? Are we going this way? Alright, we're going back there. Ah, oh, I hear it. It's getting louder. Alula! There it is. Calibus! Alula! You're okay! Thank goodness. I'm here to help, man. Here to help, Messiah, all that stuff. I was trapped inside this room and it was really scary. But then the Messiah saved me. Trapped? In the ruins? You'll be trapped in our home now. You're never leaving again! Yeah. There was that weird stuff in the door. You know, the floating squares we see next to the ocean sometimes. The stuff you told me to stay away from. What?! It spreads to the ruins now? This isn't good. Don't worry, I didn't touch it. Oh, I'm not hurt or anything, Paul. Oh. Still, if it gets any worse, we might have to find somewhere else to live. What is this square stuff exactly? Bad. Anything that touches them just sort of gets messed up. Whenever you hear people say that the world is decaying, that's what they meant. Obviously, you should avoid them too. I will. Okay, I will. Anyway, uh, can't thank you enough for rescuing my sister, Savior. Just call me Nico. Oh gosh, would it not be rude to call you by name? Huh? Why would it be? I mean, I'm just a kid like you guys. Ah. Uh, then, would you like to visit our house, Nico? Nico, I don't think this is a good idea! You can't be spending time in random houses! Alright, sure. Yay! Let's go! Alrighty then. I'm not controlling, so I'm just going on an adventure. Do you live in the ruins? Oh, shoot! Looks like we can't be get past this block. <laughs> Seriously? Wow. <sighs> I'll be up ahead! Okay, alright, that's great. I literally never thought of that. I thought of that! Actually, no, I thought of reasoning with the box as if it was a living object, but anyway, that's what I do. You get used to all kinds of debris after living here for a while, in my bat cave. Come on, our house isn't far from here. Or should I call it my bird cave? <laughs> I'm the bird man. Alright then, where are you taking me, stranger? Where are we going? Ah, so welcome to our home! I know it's not much, but feel free to make yourself comfortable. I drop the voice when I'm in here. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, not you, kid. She just comes around the corner all gruff to ah, I got the good stuff! Here, we want you to have this. Is this something I can trade? Oh, it's so cute! Thank you! Oh, you're so nice! Oh, a feather. The edges are glowing yellow. It's a sacred feather from the great prophet. Oh? Yeah. She's this old lady our dad used to know. Her feathers can glow in the dark and she can see into the future. She's cool! Uh, does she also talk to a god named Mark Blair in her head? I don't think so. What? Or something like that. Forget I said anything. <laughs> 
She gave one of her presents to Father before she died. Father wanted to pass this down as an heirloom, although it feels more fitting for you to have it. Are you sure? Totally sure, yeah. I think that's what Father would have wanted. Thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. So nice. Aw. Do you have a bed that I could take a nap in? It's a bed. Well, more like a mattress. See, it's a bed, more like a mattress. It's a bed, more like a mattress. Back room is full of dust and cobwebs. You like to fish, Nico? Yeah, so do we. They're good in stews. Or soups. But I know some people back home would like to eat them raw. Ew. Yep. Aw, raw fish, sushi, it's pretty good. What's this book? Clover symbol on the cover of this book. Hey, just like- Oh, my book! Gosh, I still need to finish studying it. Oh, my friend gave it to me for Solstice Day. He's the one who wrote it, actually. He's also the one who taught me how to read. This guy's everything to me, really. Oh, I have a few more of his books somewhere. Hey, speaking of books, I've got this strange journal. Oh, by the way, what happened to the sun? I lent it to someone in the ruins. She said she wanted to feel the sun again, but before she... Oh, you must be talking about Maze. Is that her name? She's a powerful plant spirit. She used to protect the Glen. But once the sun died, her health rapidly deteriorated. Oh. I'm glad you were able to find her in time. I think we might be already too late to save her. Oh no, that's not the voice. I know. But I'm glad she got to see the sun again. Oh, well that's sad. I hope the squares don't spread too fast. The squares! Being all nerdy like. So anyway, that's all the time I got for this one. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hate to shut the world down on Nico. I always feel bad when I do that, but... A lot of time for now, so thanks again everybody for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!